Hi there, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMind Blocks. In this one, it's going to be an upgrade video uh, replacing some faulty components from one of my machines. Um, so, if you've been following me on uh, Twitter, uh, you would have noticed that my trusty 7950 has basically packed up one of the actual fans. The bearing went in the actual fan, um, so that meant that the actual graphics card was working fine, but it's getting super hot, running at like 90 degrees, which is not ideal for uh, Ethereum mining or any other kind of mining. So what I did, uh, I found an actual supplier to get some fans for this, um, but they take about, they come from China, and they're gonna take around 10 days to actually get here. So I thought in the meantime, I don't really wanna be there without an actual uh, mining graphics card. Um, one other thing as well with this particular uh, graphics card, it's also quite power um, hungry compared to the much newer versions of uh, graphics cards as well. So that's one of the reasons for getting it replaced. So with this one, what I'm gonna do is replace the fans and then basically set it as a used um, graphics card or maybe keep it as a spare one something like that what I decided to do was uh, pick up an actual replacement so you might have just seen my unboxing video before this so it's we're going with the RX 570 and it's the 4 gig white version um, and this is the actual graphics card here so it's the MSI Armor RX 570 it looks pretty nice and I think it's going to do the job well so I decided to go with this one mostly from a, a price to performance uh, ratio was really good so I've seen a few other uh, videos and specs for this actual graphics card and I'm kind of expecting to get around about, on stock clocks, probably around about 23, maybe 24 mega hashes per second on stock clocks. Um, we'll come on to BIOS modding and stuff like that later. Um, so that's comparable to the RX 470. Um, I know that these cards use slightly more power than the uh, 400 series, um, but in this particular office it shouldn't make too much difference. So I thought, yeah, we'll go with the, uh, the 500 series and then we'll basically see how we progress on from there. So the remainder of this video, I'm gonna quickly fit this into uh, Worker 3, which is one of the machines that you would have seen in my previous uh, videos. And um, then I'll go through, and what we'll do is we'll do like a performance comparison, uh, comparing this graphics card to my existing RX uh, 470. And then we can compare the two and we'll see which gives you the best uh, bang for your buck, so to speak. So uh, let's get it fitted and then we can do some tests on it. Okay, so the uh, GPU's in there. Uh, what I was saying before in the previous section, so you can see on this RX uh, 470, it's just got a six pin PCI Express power connector. Um, on this new 570, it actually has an eight pin connector. So really it's gonna be pulling more power through the actual power supply connector rather than the actual PCI slot. So um, I think some early reports of the Fire 470 series, there was um, underpowered, uh, particularly put a lot of stress on the actual motherboard, so I think that's why they've upgraded it and put a 8-pin connector there. Okay, so our new GPU is in, and you can see the 570 there and the 470. Okay, so our RX 570 is installed into the machine. I just need to update the actual graphics card drivers. Uh, I think we're going to go with 17.7, I think that was the, one of the versions that I heard uh, being used. So I'm going to update the drivers and then what I'll do is a, a screen share and I'll show you the actual uh, performance of this graphics card uh, when mining. Okay guys, so a few hours have passed since the actual last section and um, I was doing the actual installation of the new graphics card and I've had a real uh, difficult time with it. So as it turns out, obviously unknown to me, uh, AMD has actually not released any drivers for the 500 series cards for Windows 8.1 which is the uh, version of Windows that I'm actually using. So I have gone through, I've tried lots of different versions, I've tried using the Windows 10 drivers, I'm um, just about to try the Windows 7 drivers, um, but I didn't actually realise that until after you know a couple of hours of uh, trying and testing and just, just couldn't work out what it was. So. I've actually taken out the actual um, RX 470, I've put the graphics card into different slots and stuff like that. Um, but it turns out it's just an actual driver issue. AMD has not released a driver for Windows 8.1. Um, so normally it would be just a case of either updating the Windows, um, but I know when I've done that previously, and the reason why this particular machine runs on Windows 8.1 is because I had issues before on some of the other mining software and things like that. So now I'm kind of stuck in a bit of a conundrum. I don't know whether to either um, update to Windows 10 or, or just basically remove the card and wait until a new driver is released. Um, but that's where we are now, so it's kind of disappointing. I really wanted to share some benchmarks with you. Um, so that's something that I will definitely do, but I'm just going to have to work out another way of doing it. Okay, so change of plan. I didn't want to leave the uh, video as it was, so I've decided to take some action. 
So here's what I'm actually going to do. This is a Work One machine, so it actually has Windows 10 and it's got two RX uh, 470s in there. So what I'm going to do is take one of the RX 470s out, put that into Worker 3, and then we're going to use the new 570 and put that into Worker 1, which is Windows 10. So hopefully by swapping those around, we should basically meet the objectives or the, the thing that we're actually going to, to get. So I'm going to swap those around now, redo the drivers, and hopefully that will get us where we want to be. Okay, so it's almost nine o'clock, but we are now finally making some progress. It's been a crazy long uh, day. I'm pretty uh, burnt out, tired. This has been uh, ridiculous, the amount of effort that has gone into this to actually try and get it working, but I'm finally uh, there now. So on the uh, Windows 10 machine, uh, Worker One, I've uh, got the uh, RX 570 and the 470 working together, but it's been ridiculous. Um, so what I had to do was actually um, update the most recent uh, drivers, so it's uh, 14, no sorry, 17.5.1 uh, to get the uh, 5.70 working. Uh, that caused problems with the, uh, the 4.70 uh, due to dr uh, driver device signing. So then what I did was um, roll back the driver on the 470 and that still didn't fix it. So then I then uh, installed the driver for the 470 uh, 16.9.1 uh, um, and that basically kind of got it working. But it took ages to work that out and it's been a real uh, palaver. But now I can show you the actual benchmarks. Um, so I'm gonna show you that in a second. On the other machine, um, I've got my uh, two 470s working. Again, massive driver issues, but now my integrated graphics, which is what I've used for my burst coin mining, uh, that's not working now. So, uh, it, it's, so if you're thinking of doing this, basically just, just don't, just don't even bother. Either go with 400 series or 500 series. Don't try and mix the two. It's, it's honestly not, not worth the uh, headache. Um, but anyway, uh, I'll show you the benchmarking finally. Okay, so finally we are on to the benchmarking part of this um, day. It's been quite an experience. Anyway, so we've got GPU Z running. I've got it set up for both of them. So on the left hand side, you can see the all the details for the RX 570. And on the right hand side, you can see all the details for the RX 470. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire up the Ethereum miner. So I'm using Claymore's uh, dual miner, but I'm just gonna run it on Ethereum only mode. And uh, I'll just show you the difference between the two. So I've got the, the RX 470 is modded, but I'm just going to run it at stop clocks. The only other difference between the two is I've got the power limit set to 25% increase on both of the cards. Uh, reason being is my 470 runs uh, particularly badly without any increased um, power. Um, so I've just done that to kind of level the playing field between the two of them. Um, if I don't increase the power limit, um, this GPU will run, uh, the clock speed will run about 600 megahertz, um, nowhere near 1200. So just make you aware of that. So let's start up the Ethereum miner and we can see how the two compare. So like I said, I'm just going to run it in Ethereum only mode. Uh, by the way, this is my batch file just so you can see. Uh, really basic. So I'll fire up the Ethereum miner. I'll just show the uh, sensors on the, each of the uh, GPU Zs. So the right hand one was the uh, 470. So the Claymore's uh, miner has just started up. GPU 0 is the 570 and GPU 1 is the 470. It's going to increase the fan speed now for both of the GPUs. One big difference that you do notice between two of these um, devices is that my 470 with the single tumbler fan makes a hell of a lot more noise than the dual fan design. It's probably about twice as loud, maybe three times as loud. But anyway, we are mine away. So like I say, GPU 0, this is our new 570. And GPU 1 is the modified 470 running at stock clocks. So you can see the difference in uh, performance there. So the 570, it seems that most people are going to be getting around uh, 22 mega hashes for that for a stop clock. Um, with my other um, 470s, I've had around 
about 22. So I'd say the performance between the two is probably more likely to be very the same. I don't actually know um, how much of a difference the, the modded BIOS is made. It really should only affect the actual uh, 470 when it's been, uh, when the actual uh, memory clock is in increased. Um, and that's not actually the case, it's one that's stock memory. So that's how it goes. And um, just to show you the different kind of a performance, if I run the uh, 470 uh, using the BIOS uh, modded settings, so we go back to our 470, and then I'm just going to load up my uh, custom profile. So it's a reduced core clock and an increased memory memory clock, but not all the way to 2000 because this GPU crashes often. I've got a reduced uh, power consumption, and the actual power limit is actually increased. So I'm just going to apply that. Hopefully, it won't crash. And we'll just see how that looks. So you should see that we start getting closer to 28 mega hashes on the 470. You can also see on the actual, if you go back to GPU Z, the GPU only power draw, uh, we are looking around just under 100 watts. Uh, the GPU power draw on the 570 is around uh, between 110 to 120. Okay guys, so just to recap, it's been a quite long journey today. I'm feeling quite tired, quite burnt out. But anyway, so with our RX 570 unmodified, we was getting uh, just under 22 mega hashes, and that was using roughly around about 120 watts. So in comparison to our RX 470s, either modified or unmodified, um, it's really not, not quite as good. You're, you might be able to etch out the same performance uh, from the actual 570, but it's going to use uh, slightly more power. So if you can't get any 470s, then maybe pick up a 570, but you're really not going to be getting any advantages from it. So this, is, this was kind of something that I expected um, originally anyway. So in the future, we'll have to see how this car compares if it's using more um, core intensive uh, mining processes. So it might be worth checking it out on a uh, Monero or something like that, something that I'll come back to in the future. So I'll leave it here for this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching, learned something, and maybe you won't be able to get into the same difficult situation as what I did. Uh, or if you have got yourself in that situation, then maybe this video can help you get out of it. So I'll leave it there. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.